Welcome back to another episode of Exotics Unleashed. And today on this episode, we're going to be talking about how to take take care for your crested gecko and gargoyle geckos. Um, we're going to start with food. Food's pretty easy. You just take these little bags. It's called Pangea. You can find them about any reptile store. And how you make it is you take two parts water and one part of the mix to make your gecko food. And you put four. You feed your geckos four times a week to make it. Um, also live food. People are also, people get very concerned about geckos of having to feed them live food like crickets. We do have crickets, but we only feed the geckos once a week. The main diet for the geckos should be the powder. If you want to give your geckos a snack, uh, crickets are a good choice. They don't need to be dusted because all of the nutrients come inside of the food. We'll talk about dusting later for the crickets. Just so you have sense. Um, yeah. Also next is your water. So you want your water to be purified drinking water. Because chlorine can mess with the gecko and possibly kill it. And you don't want your gecko to die. Because these guys are really cool. Um, yeah. Next on our gecko care guide is to how, how to keep care of your geckos. So first... To build your habitat, you want to start with a substrate. For us, we have dirt, then a layer of repti bark. Um, you don't want to have anything loose like dirt on the top because while hunting, geckos can eat the substrate. That is not good. You don't have to have repti bark or soil. We just use it for its natural look. You can have paper towels or even turf. That is fine for the geckos. Next, we want to go on talking about plants. Um, you see here we have wide variety of plants fake plants and real plants so the fake plants you can find them about any store they're they're all good for your gecko just find the one that suits them best but for real plants you want to make sure that they are non-toxic because you don't want your gecko to accidentally eat anything off the plant um to make sure the gecko has water you want to mist it several times a day we do two for about 30 seconds. Missing it can help keep up the humidity and also give the gecko places to drink. Well, misting does help the gecko to drink. We also do have a little water dish back in there, if you can see it. Some people say that the only way that geckos can get water is by misting, but that's false. They will learn where the water is, so misting can only happen once a day. We just like to give them a natural environment. Um, next is temperature and humidity. We like to keep a little gauge in here. I'm gonna pull it out to keep track of our temperature and humidity. Um, the gecko is usually like around between 70 and 80 degrees and 50, 50 to 80 percent humidity. Let's make sure that they're healthy and Doing all right. If you notice that your gecko is acting strange or unusual, it's maybe because of the humidity or temperature. Gargoyle geckos, gargoyle geckos, on the other hand, like to have their temperatures higher. It's usually around 75 degrees, and they might need a light. But for normal crested geckos, you don't need to have a light. Um, also, to include in your habitat, which is a good idea, are springtails. These are just tiny little insects that like to, that eat your gecko's feces. It helps keep the cage clean, and they're just an overall well thing to keep in your terrarium. The last part about a carry guy is handling. This is probably the best part about having a gecko. Some reptiles you can't handle them, like chameleons, they get stressed out, but geckos are pretty hardy, so they can be handled a lot. Um, adults are usually more lazy, I guess. Yeah, they're better Productive. to handle, because uh, young ones are jumpy and all over you, and you might freak out. They do jump sometimes, so don't freak out if they jump to your shirt, because that's happened plenty of times, and it'll happen to you pretty much every time you handle them. Also, a warning for small crested geckos and gargoyles is that you can't have them on you for more than 10 minutes because 
their body isn't big enough to dissipate heat, so they can overheat, and that is not good for your gecko. Um, usually you want to handle early in the morning or late at night. It's better at night because geckos are nocturnal. Obviously, we have our light on for filming, but having a red light is good for the geckos because it doesn't hurt their eyes as much and makes them feel more in a nighttime environment. You can tell if your gecko or whatever animal you have is nocturnal. They have that little slit eye. That means they're most likely nocturnal. If they have that round one, that means they're awake during the day. So geckos, or crusted geckos, since they have that slit eye, they're going to be awake at night and they're nocturnal. Also, if you're wondering about the name crested gecko, it comes from above their eyelids and along the side of their head. There's little spikes. And those are called crests, and it runs down their body all the way to their tail. Um, yeah, that's what they call crest crested. We also have another gargoyle gecko. I can go grab it. He is a baby. He's about three months old. He's a small little cage for him. Gargoyle geckos usually have different patterns, and they're a little bit fatter. I'll show you also what I mean by gargoyles are jumpier. Because right now he is not wanting to come out. Also something to note about gargoyles. They make sort of an angry sound. It's kind of like a squeal. But that doesn't mean you're doing anything wrong. Oh, also tails on the geckos. The geckos can sometimes drop their tails on crested geckos. Their tail will not regrow back. So it's kind of just a stub. But for gargoyle geckos... They do have the ability to regrow their tail. You can about also tell by the gargoyle their eyes. That means they're nocturnal too. Just like crusty geckos. Oh, he just jumped. <laughs> yeah, but handling is probably the best part about having a gecko, I would say. And he's running away. Seems like it. Also, our third gecko, Delta, is just chilling right there. So, that's it for our episode today. We'll try to make more next coming week. Goodbye.